Good morning. Thank you for joining us. I'm Dan Kroll. And I'm Laura Avery. It is Thursday, May 23rd, 2024. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I, I hear you have a little shout I do. out. I want to give a little shout out to Magic <laughs> 107.7 for playing Kiss from a Rose this morning <laughs> on my way to work. <laughs> It, it really is a magical time when one of your favorite songs gets played randomly on the radio. And you, you are in a kind of a buoyant mood this morning. It's because I woke up on the right, or well, I woke up pretty well, but then I got, I went to work on the right side. You had the right music to pump you up. We're good to go. Magic 107.7. As a favor to us, can you please play Seal every morning <laughs> just, around? Really, just Kiss from a Rose. <laughs> kiss from a Rose, please. I mean, you can rotate through the other it's songs. It's a banger. But. Yeah. Like, I, I've, I listen, I've heard enough Taylor Swift, all right? <laughs> yeah. Anti Hero and Cruel Summer, we're, let's move on. She has new stuff out there. Why aren't we playing that? Wow. I mean, th these are conversations we've had in private. But it is. I, 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 if you're ready to, to air our <laughs> to Taylor discuss. Swift's opinions, I'm ready to fire them. What other opinions do you have of Taylor Swift? Well, I agree. I uh, think. We're, we're being told no, not to <laughs> not to give our opinions on. You're Taylor. right. The Swifties will be after us. That's right. <laughs> They'll <sighs> find us. I I am a fan. Swifties, please congratulate me. I acknowledge her cultural impact. <laughs> Was that shady enough? <laughs> shady, man. We're gonna be getting the emails today. <laughs> Um, okay, well, you know, speaking of Taylor Swift, we, we've talked about this, the, 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 imp the cultural impact that she's had. Yes, that's true. And I do appreciate that um, somehow her sort of comments on Ticketmaster have yes. led to the fact that people them being taken to task. Yes. So, so yeah. if you're, I remember like last year, the uh, Ticketmaster, Taylor Swift's Eras Tour went on sale. Ticketmaster crashed. People couldn't get tickets. Tickets are like $5,000 for people a couple are going because to of resale. Europe. Now, yes, uh, because they can't afford to attend concerts in their own country, they it's actually cheaper for them to fly to Europe to attend a Taylor Swift concert because of the price gouging. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so finally, the uh, Ticketmaster's owners could be facing a federal antitrust lawsuit now. Finally, finally, yes. Uh, the reports say the Justice Department and several states are expected to file a lawsuit against Live Nation as soon as today. So we're hopefully today we'll see learn a little bit more if this is going to actually uh, go progress at all. Uh, what I find really interesting about this is the weak sauce that the um, Live Nation representative has released. Um, you know, in light of this lawsuit, uh, Live Nation says it does not run a monopoly on the industry and the artists and teams set ticket prices rather than the company itself, which is such a roundabout, you know, avoidance Are they setting the, the, of the service charges It's and fees? not about the ticket prices. It doesn't matter what the artists set the ticket prices as. They will put on random fees, 20, 50, hundreds mm -hmm. of dollars to make these uh, tickets unaffordable. And they can do that because they're the only game in town. So. Exactly. So hopefully we see a little bit of change coming here in the future. Because, you know, if Seal goes on concert <laughs> and starts playing Kiss from a Rose, I want to be there. <laughs> I mean, he will play Kiss from a Rose. He better. It would be a mistake it, if he did it. Absolutely. <laughs>